I'm at uh, McDonald's pick Rick up. Been a long day. <laughs> I'm tired. I've got some stuff taken care of and took down to the shed, packed up. Then I worked on this quilt. This makes two videos. But anyway, let's forget about this. Rick was reading on Facebook where these two nurses got together and they got 10 of them covert tests. And they sent all of them off, nothing on them at all. Nothing. They didn't put, they just took it out of the bag and back in the bag. And they gave them false names and they sent them off. And all of them came back positive. So the tests are coming back positive. They are on the test. So beware, do it at your own risk. One white, one red, one white, and all that. And then I got this one. Now we're working on the ends here. And I wanted to show you how I put them on. Just in case you have some trouble, I need to put it on. Now, in the beginning, see which side you want this on. Either the bottom or the top, so you can continue what you are doing. Alright, now I have mine on the top. And I want to continue keep mine on the top so now then I want that up there just as close as I can and I'm just guesstimating it now on a count of it's a good thing to do oh no I got no pins alright I found some so now we're going to pin it down Make sure that what we have up here, uh, the stitches will make it. The sewing machine will get it. All right. Now I'll put one more in the middle. Now, as you go down, you can check and make sure and see what's going on underneath these by picking it up and looking underneath it if you need to. But turn your machine off so you'll be able to um, be able to look at it better. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this and then we're going to fold it again. Fold it again. And we're going to clamp it. Come down here at the bottom and we're gonna clamp it again all right now I'm gonna have to find a place for you so we'll be back all right this works out pretty good so I'm gonna miss all these things I've got in here until I uh, fix it to where I can get to it better all right now we can fold this down see here fold down no big deal <coughs> I want to put it up here and I want to check underneath it to make sure I've got enough that I can start sewing. And now I'm going to start sewing. I have to step back from it because this thing will come up. The part with the clips on it, it will come up. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, let's get back on this. So this is Rick. He's at work. And he calls me during his break when he gets a chance. And he was telling me about Facebook. So Facebook is pushing to make it look like that white people want to give the coronavirus to the other people. Because we won't wear face masks. I'm pretty sure that there's colored people out there that believe the same thing. I'm subscribed to one. And he says this is all stupid nonsense. 
that his people need to wake up. <laughs> and I have to agree. I, I don't... I wish I'd wake up so I could see really what's going on in this world. They're not going to like it when they do. Alright. Now I got done with this one. Alright. Let me put it over here. And then I'll change it around over there. Alright. I don't want anybody coming down with anything. But however, I don't want somebody to tell me how I got to live my life and what I got to do in my life. I'm, no, mm -mm, no, it ain't going to happen. All right, now I'm going to line it up with this one down here. Line it with this one. And now I'm going to give it a trim if I can get it right. Ooh, that one's good. I got just a little bit down here to trim off down here. There we go. And that's what we got. Then it was way down here. So this turned out really good. Alright, now. Let's turn it around. And we're going to do the same identical thing. Line it up, line it up, line it up. Ooh, this, now here's a really good gap. This is the biggest gap I've had yet. That's not bad at all. We're doing really good. <laughs> Alright, my next thing that I want to do is I want to get both of them. And let me move you around. Move you around again. Alright. Now what I want to do. Is I want to take this one. With this one. Line them up. And I want to make sure they're pretty well much the same. So as we go, line it up and give it a pin down so we can see how close we are on both of them. Wow. So far, good. Even these right here are even doing good. Alright, let's go down here. And this one is doing good. Wow. ha <laughs> ha. Cool. I'm happy so far. <coughs> oh, this one's a little off. <coughs> and this one's off. Yep, they're off. That's okay. We're going to go on. And this one's off. This one's way off. So those are off there. Okay, let's continue on. It can be in this sewing because um, it looks like it's crooked. And That's okay. So we can't get that one and that one. All right. So now you see how much we're off over here. I don't know if we can straighten that out, but we're going to leave it like it is. I wanted to see how bad we were off, and I don't think it's really that bad, but we can work with it. That's what we're going to do. Alright, now we got to work in the middle of it. 
Alright, let me hang these up and I'll be right back. Alright, I wasn't thinking, but I do have to have one of these out and to measure it, because we need a measurement. So I just got one. It really ain't going to matter too much. And we're going to measure it. After we get it all untangled. And see how big it is. Forty-two and a half. All right. So we got forty-two and a half. So we need to make our middle piece forty-two and a half inches. All right. So all right. I'm just gonna throw this one over there, and let's put you back right here. And I'm going to get me a pen or something, pencil, and oh, I don't have that table no more. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. I'm just going to put 42 and a half. All right. Now we've got 42 and a half inches there. All right. Now we're going to grab us some more bags and... Man, that right there is most definitely, but it won't work. You see how this right here sides are? I don't think it'll work. Alright. Here's just these two. They'll work. Alright. Now. Let's see what we can do. About trying to get a kind of level. opening them up and so we can try to use it all right find the opening oh come on now oh right here it is and we're going to open it All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to fold them in half. <coughs> do, 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 do. All right. Now, I want to take, and I want to make sure this is level. Get good on the Perina. Look here got the black right here and I got no black except for just a little tiny white little line you can barely see so that's good on that all right now we want to go four inches make sure okay do the same thing One more. That's five. I don't want five. I want four. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to sew these down so that I can try to get me 40, what is that? 40, 42 inches. And that way it will work great. Uh oh. Alright. So if I can't open that one up, I'm going to line that one up. 
I need to bring my pins over here. All right, and there's that side. And there is that side. Oh, come on. So I was saying about the pins, these weak pins, you cannot get it. All right, I'm going to try so. Alrighty. Um, I've got uh, this right here. Now we need to cut it down to 42 inches. Let me do this first. Alright, I want to fold this in half. I'm going to get rid of these stems there. And I want to try to put this right here in half. Like this. Alright, now we got 42 inches. So we want 21 inches. Look at her. Alright. Let's turn it around. We have that's 23. Okay. There's 21. Now we have a half. And I'm going to go ahead and do it a, a two. So we got 22 inches. Man, that right there is going to work out just awesomely great. I didn't need all that, but hey. Alright. So. Oh, I hope I'm right. That's too small. So that's 21, 23. Yeah, uh-huh. Let's go up another inch. All right, now if this is not right, I have to do this all over again. <laughs> but however, that's what I did. All right, now let's take these off. And let's turn you around so you can see if I did it wrong or not. I don't know. I got. I can't put you up. Where is my? Oh no. Alright. Alright, I'll be back. Well, I broke my bench. I went to sit down there to talk on the phone and it went crashing down. <laughs> so now I gotta try to I'm gonna try to clean all this stuff out and get rid of that bench now. And I think I'm gonna get all the bench together and I'm gonna send it to the uh, what do you call it? The thrift store. All right. While I was talking, we were talking for a long time. All right. I set, went back and I sewed these pieces back on, and I leveled them out in the middle of the best I can between these right here too, so that they would look pretty good together. And then I pinned it down so we could sew it down. All right. So I'm going to sew this down. I'm I'm sorry that. I didn't do all of it, but we're got, we got the other side to go. All right, I want you to notice I got a bubble right here, and I'm always pulling these out before I get to it, so I can get rid of the bubble before it goes underneath the machine. Because if I don't, it will have a fold in it and look stupid, and we don't want it to look stupid. All right, I got it done. Now what I want to do. I'm going to take this and I'm try to put it in half. Alright, now I've got it in half. Now I'm going to get the other one and I'm going to fold it in half too. Make sure it looks pretty good down here. Yeah, it looks pretty good, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm put it right here and down here at the bottom just in case something happens. Then I have it. I don't lose it. And 
I'm going to get this one down, and we're going to uh, fold it in half. This one down and find me a clip. Clip it. Make sure this side is the same and I'll clip it. Alright. Now then, we have the dogs going up and the cat going up, and now we want this one to go up. So now we have. Let's turn you around here to see what I'm doing. So we have this one right here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to slide it in there like that. I'm going to pin it. Okay? So that way we know what's going on down there at that end. I mean, this is going to be a weird way to do it, but this is the way that I am seeing it done. So as we can put it together. All right, now this one goes on top. So, okay, let me go back down here. Okay, I want this one to go on top because that one is on top. Put that down in here, and it don't matter if it's not level yet or not. I haven't got down here. Now let's pull this back down. And then we're going to put all this underneath there. Make sure it's all level. Now then, I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to put just enough for it to sew. And now I'm going to put a pin in it. All right. Now then, I'm going to go down a little bit, put my fingers in underneath it, so I can put another pin in it right here. There we go. Alright. Now i got two pins in it. I feel better. Now I'm going to take these right here pins out, or these clips off. I'm going to try to get it lined up here. This is big now. This is huge. Alright. Push that pin in there. Now I want to go down through here and I want to do the same thing and make sure i got enough for the sewing machine to make it stitches like this all the way down and then that right yeah uh, that was my mother's cousin her name is Carolyn and oh grace hey y'all uh, Yuck, I got a nasty taste in my mouth. <coughs> it may be from his damn dog food bags. <laughs> but hey, I think it's turning out really nice. I'm really happy with it. Yep, oh, got a pen. <coughs> Make sure we got enough for to sew down. Take advantage of that pen. Now we're down here at the very end. Need one more pen. All right. Now we need to roll this one up so we can get it underneath the sewing machine. This is going to 
be very easy, ain't it? Alright, I got it folded in half. I'm going to need some more in. I'm going to get some stuff out of my way. <clears throat> Alright. Start folding. And now I need my clips, but make sure I clip it all the way down. And get some of this out of the way here. I'm hoping that this will hold it. I don't think it will. It might. We're, we're going to keep on going and trying. And maybe it might double ditch it. I'm so glad you sent me these right here. <laughs> I really am. Looks like they're coming in handy right now. like that and now I'm going to sew it down and then we'll be back and look at it all right I finally got it done um but you need to change your needles so do about halfway and change your needle even if it's a to another dull needle because I had trouble with this because my needle was way too dull and it broke on me and I didn't realize what was going on but that's what was going on alright we'll come up here I'm going to trim this off Line it up from a part up here to a part down here. And trim. Alright, now let's do the other side. And Mama Cat did not help by coming in and meowing, meow, meow. But I got my needle changed, so that's a good thing. Alright. Line it up with one over there and over here. Oh boy. Let's see what I can do here. Alright. This is what we're going to do. Trim an eye off. Mmm. All right, then we got that one. Now I'm just gonna trim that like that, and I'm gonna leave it like that. It's not gonna really matter, I don't think. Oh man, yeah, it most definitely looks awful weird. I'm not gonna like that. I don't like that. That looks a whole lot better. I like that better. Who knows, maybe that right there part was was messed up, was curved out or something. Alright. I'll see you the next tutorial. Because I think I am done. Let's, let's turn you around this way. And 
Let's see if I can't put you back a little bit. Hopefully you can see the whole thing. I hope you can see it. I ain't got nowhere to hang it up now. And hopefully. Alright, so we got all four sides to go now. And this is going to be a pretty good sized one. Alright, we'll be back. How to donate to PayPal. You mash on poor man's sewing. And then you come up here. And you look for a belt. And you mash on a bow. And right here you hit on donate to poor man sewing. It's people like you that help me out. And it is really appreciated. And I hope you many blessings in this hard times that we are fixing to go through. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.